What's going on everybody, JCSB here, and welcome to episode 26 of season 2 of our Minecraft Let's Play. So, how are you all doing? I hope you all are having a great day. This is obviously Wednesday's video, so uh, I hope you all had a great Wednesday. For those of you uh, who are maybe seeing this towards the end of the day, and for those of you who are just waking up on Wednesday, I hope you all have a great day. And uh, it seems that another chicken has escaped. Fantastic. They're just really uh, eager to get out of that kennel. As you can see, they were all like pushed up against the uh, the fence here, and they're all trying to get out desperately. Uh, so that's not a good thing, but uh, not a big deal. I'm not really uh, in need of any of the chickens' uh, items that it drops. I actually wanted to show you guys something. I have so many eggs uh, that it's not even funny. Yeah, I'm starting on my fourth stack of them, which is uh, pretty insane. I know they I know they only stack to a 16, but that's still a ton of eggs. Anyways, now, uh, yesterday, Tuesday, I uploaded a bonus episode, as many of you are familiar, and seeing how today is Wednesday, it's a normal upload day, uh, you've got another opportunity on this video to unlock a bonus episode for Thursday. So, uh, I've got our new milestone, guys. Now, uh, I am going to raise it a bit from last episode, and the reason for that is because... Uh, you guys destroyed 75 likes. Uh, as many of you remember, I did ask for 75, and as of now, the video has uh, 130. Uh, so, you know, that's 60 more than what I asked for. So I think uh, I'm going to ask for 100 likes on this video, guys. Uh, I know it's a pretty high, uh, you know, milestone to reach, but you guys did it effortlessly on the last episode. Uh, so I think you guys will be able to do it again, and you'll be able to earn a bonus episode on Thursday. So uh, enough of, you know, the bonus episode details. Uh, I'm talking about it a lot recently because it's still a new thing to my channel. But uh, after a week or two of it, you guys will pretty much know the drill. And uh, from there on out, I won't have to speak of it anymore. So today we're going to continue working on our island here. In this last episode, uh, we built all these pathways here. And uh, if you didn't see the last episode, you might want to, uh, just to get caught up. Basically what we did was we started building these pathways. And real quick here, I want to continue building them. I only have a couple left to do, so uh, we'll do that right now. But uh, I've actually come up with a couple of cool ideas, and I've actually uh, had a lot of viewers give suggestions on how I can continue to make this uh, you know, little island area here look better and better. Uh, so today we're going to put a whole bunch of those ideas into effect and, uh, you know, give them a try. So uh, now we're going to dig this pathway over to the wheat farm here. And uh, I'm just going to start digging this out a bit. Now this three wide section here is going to be the wood part. Unfortunately, uh, the crop farm here has a one block wide entrance, whereas the animal pens had a two block wide entrance. So it is going to look a bit different. And you know what, chicken? Uh, I'm pretty much tired of you pushing me around. Anyways, like I said, uh, it is going to look a bit different from the other path, but uh, I don't think it'll be that big of a deal, to be honest. Uh, so let's start filling this in. And then uh, after we get the wooden planks in here, we're just going to do the stone bricks. I'm actually uh, running a bit low on stone bricks again. Uh, I'm down to just the stack of 43 that you see here. Uh, so we probably will have to cook up some more clean stone, but I, I went through a lot of coal uh, when I cooked up the original six stacks of stone bricks. So uh, it is, we are running low on coal, but luckily uh, we're going to start some branch mining in the mining quarry. And there's still a lot of coal in the ravines that I found underground, uh, so we'll be able to grab some coal from there. Yeah, the chickens are really irritating me today. <laughs> So we're also going to make a pathway over here to this little, uh, to the pathway that leads over to our skeleton spawner. Uh, so let's get this out of the way real quick. Alright, so that's starting to look pretty nice. Yeah, I'm really, I'm really happy with this whole pathway setup. And, uh, unintentionally, on accident, I left this big square of grass through here. And uh, as I mentioned, I'm going to put some fountains in here. Uh, that's what we're going to be mainly doing this episode. Uh, my idea is to have one really tall fountain right here in the middle. And then on both sides, we'll have a smaller fountain. Now, the two fountains on the side will be the same size, and just the middle one will be bigger. So uh, I think that's going to look pretty cool as long as, you know, we accomplish what we're trying to do. So 
Uh, I'm looking forward to that for sure. Uh, now we're going to build a path over to our enchantment table. And uh, we are unfortunately about to run out of stone bricks. Oh man, that's not cool. Well, uh, I guess we should take the time now to come over here and smelt a bunch more of them up because... Uh, you know, like I said, we are running out of coal, but we still do have a pretty decent amount of it. Uh, so I can use a couple pieces on a couple stacks of bricks here. And now we just need to grab, what is that, four stacks of cobble. So one, two, three, four. And we're going to get this cooking real quick. Okay, now that uh, that's cooking, we're going to put the rest of our dirt away here. Might as well keep a stack with us. Alright, so let's see. Now, uh, I had a plan for this enchantment table. As you can see, the row of stone bricks here comes and e uh, is level with the outside wall, or this outside ring of wooden planks, rather. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry the stone bricks under the fence and wrap it around under the fence here and uh, back around over to this uh, you know, line of stone bricks here. And I think that's going to look very, very nice. I'm actually really happy with how this whole enchantment table setup looks. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have enough XP to really use it yet, but uh, we are going to be making a skeleton XP farm in this episode if we get enough time. It just depends. So uh, I think now we should start working on the fountains. Now, um, building fountains is not always the easiest thing to do, but it definitely is doable. You know, it is possible. What we're going to do is grab uh, pretty much all of our buckets of water here. And we need some dirt. We've got that. We're going to need a ton of cobblestone blocks. Er, I'm deciding I'm going to need some sort of nice solid material to make the fountains out of. That way it's just not dirt. And I still haven't decided if I'm going to do cobblestone or stone bricks. Uh, but, I'm, but I'm leaning towards cobblestone because I'm using a lot of stone bricks on the island now. And I don't want to go overkill with it. And uh, I think cobblestone always looks nice uh, nice with uh, what you might call it, the water fountain. So I think it'll look okay. Come on, let me sleep. I saw the sun going down. What's going on? It's getting dark. Let me sleep. There we go. So let's take a nap real quick. We're going to actually eat this raw chicken. There we go. Got rid of it. It's out of our inventory now. Okay, so now we're going to go pick up some water over here. Uh, I can just take it right from here because this is one deep. And we're going to leave one bucket uh, un or empty that way just in case you know we have to pick up some water. So over here real quick, we're just going to make uh, a real uh, simple infinite spring. So we go like that, and then we can pull from this middle bucket. Now, I do have to do some measuring here. When you make a fountain, you want it to be an odd number of blocks. So what I'm going to do is go through real quick and remove all the torches that are in the center. Uh, I do need to get some better lighting going through here, and I'm going to try to fit that into this episode as well. The only problem is I have a, a lot of things on the schedule, on the to-do list. And uh, it, it might be a bit difficult to get them all done in this episode, so it might have to be split into a couple episodes. Uh, but that's definitely all right, I think. Uh, you know, gives us something to do, I guess. So let me run through and remove all these torches real quick. Shouldn't take too long as I'm sprinting. All right, so now what I need to do is find the exact center point of this whole block of uh, grass down here. So this part will probably be sped up. If not, there just won't be any commentary because I'm going to be trying to find the center, as I mentioned. So uh, I'll get back to you guys as soon as I find our midpoint. All right, guys. Well, I have found our center point, or points, I should say. Unfortunately, uh, our, our patch of grass here is an even number of blocks uh, this way, wide, whatever you want to call it, long, I don't care. But uh, luckily, it's only one block in the center here. Uh, now what this means is that since the fountain has to be an odd number of blocks, uh, the fountain might be a, 
an extra block away from this side, one more than it is from that side. But like I said, I really don't think it's that big of a deal. So what we're going to do is, let me see how I'm going to do this. Hmm. Uh, I guess I'm going to have to pick one of these torches to remove. I'd rather it be closer to uh, this area over here, this side of the island, because there's not much over here. I don't want it too close to my animal farm. So we're going to just say this is the center point, even though it's technically not. And I think I'm going to go out one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to go out five in every direction. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Wow, that's a huge fountain. And uh, you're exactly right. And I'm actually thinking now that that might be a bit too big, so... What we'll do is we'll go out four in every direction instead. Just like this. And this will essentially be uh, how big our fountain's going to be. Now, I'm going to do something pretty cool by uh, making the edges kind of curved here like this. I was going to do just a standard square, but I think it'll look a lot nicer being edged off like this. So. Basically, we just go like this and cut uh, some jagged edges in there. Uh, now, I do need to run and go get a new shovel real quick, so let's go and do that. Alright, well, now we've got a couple of extra iron shovels. Uh, I'm going to continue doing the shape of this whole fountain here, so uh, let me get to work on that real quick, and I'll meet you back when I'm done. Alright guys, so this is the main shape of our first fountain here. Uh, it looks a bit strange, I know, but what we're going to do now, I actually don't have enough cobblestone for this, unfortunately. I keep forgetting to grab the materials that I need. I wanted to grab a couple stacks of cobblestone, but I unfortunately forgot. Luckily, uh, we're not too far away from it, so I'm going to load up on some cobblestone here because we are going to be using a lot of it, and it doesn't hurt to have a bunch with us. So what I'm going to do now is fill the entire bottom portion in here with cobblestone. Now let me show you how I'm going to do that. I'm simply going to dig this floor out and replace it all with cobblestone. So uh, let me get to doing that and I'll see you as soon as I'm done. Alright, so now that that's done, I'm also going to go in and replace all of these blocks here with cobblestone. Uh, this just gives it a more permanent look, and uh, I think it'll turn out, you know, appearing a bit nicer uh, now that we've taken the time to, uh, you know, make everything look this professional, and we've actually, you know, put effort into it. So uh, it does take a bit longer to actually build the fountains when you're doing them this way, but I definitely think it's worth it in the long run. So uh, let me continue doing this real quick. It should only take a second. Alright, so now we've got our bases for the fountain down. Now I know, uh, or I already told you that it's going to be two blocks away from the edge here and only one block over there. And I know that it doesn't look completely centered, but I promise you when you're walking by, you're not really going to notice it. And it's uh, really not going to be that big of a deal. So uh, just before you know anybody's OCD goes insane, uh, I do realize that it's not completely even. But like I said, I think it'll be alright, guys. So now what we're going to do is, let's see, that's up one. Uh, we're probably going to go up ten blocks. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then what you do is you place a bucket of water here. Now let's see how this ends up looking. <laughs> uh, to be honest, that's a bit taller than I expected. That actually looks a bit goofy. Uh, so we're going to run up here and remove this source of water. We're actually going to knock it down a bit. I didn't realize that uh, it was going to look you know, that ridiculously high. That kind of looks a bit out of place. So uh, let's get up here. Now make sure you actually get up on top of the cobblestone block before you remove the water or you'll just free fall. So we're going to knock it down. One, two, three, four. That puts it at six. So let's see how that looks. That should look a bit better. Oh yes, much better. I like that a lot better. But I still actually have a pretty cool idea. So, uh, you know, that's a definite, uh, a definite 
choice. Uh, that's you know one candidate and how we can build this Fallon. It's pretty simple. But I want to try something. I'm thinking of maybe going down one here and placing this row of cobblestone. And then what we'll do from there. Oops, not there. Fantastic. And we fell. All right, so we're just going to remove this center block uh, real quick. Now, actually, uh, before I do anything here, let me go run and take a, uh, a quick rest because uh, I don't have any torches out on my island right now while I'm working on this fountain, and mobs are going to spawn like crazy if we don't go to bed and get rid of this night cycle. Uh, so let's do that real quick. Okay, so hopefully no mobs have had the chance to spawn in. We were pretty quick about it, luckily. Uh, so let's rush out here. <laughs> it looks a bit goofy from here, but uh, trust me when I say that it will look better once it's done. Uh, so we're going to have to do a little sneaky ninja thing here as we build ourselves back up to the top. Alright, so let's see if we can make it. All right, so I wanted to try this and see how the pillars there affect uh, the water itself. Yes, that looks a lot better. So what you do after you have this in place, guys, is you simply remove all the cobblestone blocks, just like this. And I just lost my pickaxe. And there we go. So now it just looks like a freestanding fountain. Uh, which is pretty cool. Now, uh, let's step back and see how the final look is. Uh, the water seems a bit weird. Maybe it's because I'm on fast graphics. Let me see if this changes anything. Oh, yeah, that looks a lot better. So, as you can see, for those of you who are wondering why I don't play on fancy graphics, my computer obviously runs fine. You know, I'm recording and everything's good. So, I guess I'll leave it on fancy for now. But tell me what you guys think. I think that looks fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, I'm really, really happy with that. And uh, we're not done improving it yet, though. I think that's the perfect height. So we went up six blocks with that. Now I'm going to do probably half the size for the ones uh, on the side of it. So they're going to go up three blocks. But anyways, I want to grab some cobblestone slabs here real quick and edge the fountain with these. Uh, so let's see how that looks. I'm actually pleasantly surprised that my computer is running so well on fast graphics because... I actually haven't deleted the movies off my uh, computer in a while. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, I actually go in and delete all my old videos after a certain amount of time because uh, once too many of them are saved, uh, my computer starts to run really slow. So there. I personally, guys, think that looks awesome. You can tell me what you think. Uh, it really won't hurt my feelings if you don't like the way it looks. Uh, but I do plan on keeping this because I do think that looks pretty nice. Now we're going to put some torches here. Just like this. And there, our first fountain is done. Now, uh, you know, don't hesitate to tell me what you think of it because uh, I do want to know. I am curious. Uh, I don't know if I really need this row of cobblestone half slabs. Maybe it looks nicer without it. But for now, guys, uh, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, yeah, like I said, leave your opinion in the comments and... Uh, I hope you guys like it. And be sure to tell me if you don't think these half slabs should be here because I'm kind of uh, thinking of removing them because the thing that I don't like is when the half slabs are up, it looks like there's a really deep fall to the fountain. And when they're not there, you can actually see that the water rushes up. Uh, so I, you know, tell me what you think. I'm actually probably going to go with no half slabs now that I look at it. I think it looks fine without them. And uh, But if you guys did like them with them, uh, be sure to tell me that too because I will put them back if the majority of you actually like them there. I got no problem with that. But for now, there's our first fountain. And now all we basically do is uh, construct two more on the sides of them. I'm debating whether or not I need another one, but, or two more rather, but I think it'll look pretty nice. So what we're going to do is we're probably going to leave at least... Uh, hmm... One, two, three, four. I think our next part, or our next fountain, should start there, four blocks away. Uh, so that'll be that portion. And then one, two, three, four. And then that'll be that part. Now, I do need to count uh, how wide across this is. So it's one, 
2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So this one needs to be, let's see, I guess 7 we can make it. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now I'm, I'm wondering if that's going to be too big. That's going to be 3 on each side, just like, uh, let's see, this one had 4 on each side, I believe. Hmm, I'm trying to think here. If it's one here, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this one had five on each side, and this one will have one, two, three. Uh, is that going to be too big? Yeah, I think it is actually. Um, even though it's really not that big, I'd rather just have maybe two on each side. Okay, so here's the center point, and then it goes out two. Well, yeah, we went out four with that, so this should go out two just to be uh, half the size, I guess. And then we cut out these corners here to make them look all cool and jagged and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, so that's the deal with that. It doesn't look as jagged because there's only room for one point, but I don't think that's a big deal. Uh, we're still going to build this fountain regardless. Uh, if it's the wrong size, then we just you know get rid of it. That's the beauty of Minecraft. If you don't enjoy what you've built, uh, it might take a while, but you can, in fact, get rid of it, which is always a nice thing. I've actually... Uh, rebuilt entire houses before that I didn't like so you know it is doable that's for sure and uh, once again we are gonna refill these cobbles or these dirt blocks with cobblestone here out on the edge okay so now I believe we went up six blocks with that fountain so this one we're gonna go up three and what we're gonna do we already we're already up one so two three and then we're still gonna do this little uh, thing on the side here where we place the cobblestone blocks one down from the top and I keep placing it up at the wrong level so let me concentrate here there we go and there's another mess up <laughs> that's like three for four okay so now let's grab a bucket of water we're gonna place it and then get rid of all the other cobblestone blocks and let's see how this one measures up to the next one. I'm hoping it's obvious that it's smaller, but still uh, pretty decent in size. And I can't get out. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is a lot smaller, but I, I do think it's the right size. The only thing I'm a bit worried about is it seems a bit too short. And I know we want it to be half the size, but I think that might be way too short. So what we're going to do, uh, we went up three. We might as well go up four. Or, yeah, I guess four is good. And uh, then we'll go down the one block again. See if I can do it this time without messing up. There we go. That's what we're talking about. And then we're going to remove all of these blocks, all the cobblestone. Oh yeah, that is much better. I'm very, very happy with that. So, uh, that's two fountains down. Now we got to make one more. So, this is still four apart. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in, uh, I guess, diameter, even though it's not a perfect circle. Uh, I'm not going to go through the time to try to make perfect circles. They're pretty difficult to do in Minecraft. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to put that there. So... I thought we went out two on the other one. Hmm. We did go out two, so I actually made that a bit too far, but hold on a sec. I think I know what I did. This is going to be cobblestone, I believe. It's still four away, but then it's only two. Sorry, guys. I know I'm just kind of like rambling here, but I'm trying to make this uh, pretty much perfect, exactly like the other one. So uh, it is important, you know, that... I do this correctly. So yeah, it goes out two in each direction, just like that, and then we remove the corners, and it should leave only one corner edge piece in on each side. That's perfect, and it's still one... Yeah, alright, so now we're doing it right. I just had it uh, a bit confused there at the beginning. Uh, so by now, this is our third fountain. You know the drill. We're just gonna basically remove all the dirt here and replace it with some cobble. And we went up four with that one, so one, two, three, 
my new cobblestone stack four and then we're gonna place these here now I've actually realized that I forgot something already we need to replace these dirt blocks with cobblestone as well uh, and the reason for that is because I don't want to have to try to dig them up once the water is already placed it always makes things a bit more difficult when you bring water streams into play uh, so it's best to get this done uh, before we start put, uh, placing water down so now we're gonna build our way back up into this stack here that way we can go up and place the water oh boy am I happy that I forgot the water <laughs> that's fantastic hi carumba for some reason uh, Notch must not want me to build these fountains right now because he's making it extremely difficult <laughs> to say the least so let's place some more torches down here because uh, I still don't want mobs spawning. I have a feeling that they still are going to spawn and that we should probably take a rest. But you know what? I'm going to chance it. I'm really not uh, too afraid of any mob except for uh, creepers and skeletons. They're pretty terrifying. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, you know, hopefully we can do this pretty quickly and then we can get out of here because uh, I don't feel like messing around too much with them today. Alright, so there's our water. Let's remove these blocks real quick. Alright, so there is our third and final fountain. Let's step back and see how it all looks at night. Very cool. I'm very happy with that. You guys can tell me what you think. I think we finally found something to go into the center of our island here. Now we are going to rush and go to sleep real quick. And then I have a whole bunch of things to talk to you guys about. Uh, this episode is actually already over 30 minutes, but uh, it's not really a big deal. Alright guys, so the first thing I want to talk about is our world here. I've got some pretty cool things planned uh, in the future for this world. Now I know I did talk about some projects that I want to do in the last episode, but I am now going to talk about things that I'm going to be doing very soon, uh, as in next episode. So uh, first let me grab all these clean stone blocks out, and then we're going to make some stone bricks. We're also going to clear up our inventory a bit. Anyways... In the upcoming episodes, uh, as in next episode, we are going to be working on our Skeleton XP farm. I had two people suggest a really cool design, and they actually ended up basically suggesting the exact same design. So I'm going to be using that design that uh, both of them suggested. Also, uh, I mean... that. I'm not done talking about that actually. Uh, so we're going to be doing that in the next episode. What I'm going to do is the trench that the mobs or the skeletons fall into drown. We're going to dig that down 23 blocks. That way uh, when the skeletons fall they are left with only one heart and I can punch them with my fist uh, with one hit and kill them. So uh, I think that's going to be a pretty good uh, improvement and it's going to make it really easy to get some XP. So that's coming up next episode. Uh, I also want to add a bit more to this area here. I was thinking of maybe trying to make some benches or something like that. And that's what's coming up probably next episode. Uh, it is going to you know, take some time to get the skeleton farm together, and it might end up taking an entire episode on its own. Uh, but I'm hoping it doesn't, and I'm hoping that we'll be able to add in... Let me grab these blocks. That we'll be able to add in uh, some more work to our fountains here. Uh, but let me continue going through here and doing this real quick as we end up the episode. Alright, so now I've got the enchantment table set up completely done. I hope you guys like it. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, you know, that's the deal with that. And uh, as for things around my channel... Uh, as I mentioned in the last episode, I do have a Facebook page now, and I'm pretty much going to make it official. Uh, if I ever get a partnership one day, I'll obviously put a uh, an F, I guess, on my channel. That will be a link directly to the Facebook page. But the link will be in the description as long as I remember. If not, uh, if you go to my channel, I've got a link to it there on the left side of the page under the Contact Me section. Uh, so you guys can go check that out. Uh, what I'm going to probably be doing is I'm going to link my YouTube account to my Facebook account so it automatically shares uh, 
uh, all my activity on YouTube or yeah all my YouTube activity on my Facebook page I think that will be a nice addition and for those of you who go on Facebook more than YouTube uh, you'll still be able to see my videos uh, when you're on Facebook so it'll be a pretty nice addition and uh, I'm hoping that that works the way I'm, I'm hoping it will uh, the way that I'm assuming it will and this is actually pretty nice this is the first time our crop farm has been completely grown in I think so uh, that's pretty cool So yeah, other than that guys, I hope you have enjoyed episode 26 of our Minecraft Let's Play. Now remember guys, um, this is Wednesday's episode, it's a regular upload day, meaning you have an opportunity to unlock a bonus episode for tomorrow. Now I would like uh, the milestone to be 100 likes, but you know, just, just get as close as you can. Uh, um, I usually record right when I get home from school, uh, so if this video uh, is almost to 100 likes when I get home, if it's around 75 and I know that it's probably going to get to 100, I'll still record the bonus episode. Uh, I have a lot of faith in you guys after uh, the support that you've displayed on episode 24, I believe it was. Yeah, whichever one got 130 likes. I have a lot of faith in you guys, so I'm sure you can reach 100 likes pretty easily. And uh, you'll get a bonus episode on Thursday, which I'm pretty excited about. So uh, feel free to leave as many comments as you want, guys. I actually had two people apologize on episode 25 for leaving more than two or three comments. Guys, I am totally fine with that. I realize that YouTube's comment feature has a limit to how many words you can fit into one comment. And uh, I know that's a bit frustrating because it irritates me sometimes. So feel free to leave as many comments as you want. I'm really totally fine with it so uh, you know comment section down below Facebook page Facebook link on my channel and hopefully in this video if I remember and have a great day everyone and I will hopefully see you on Thursday peace